I love to try different technology to help me make my art. Two apps I use in this piece are Colored Pencil Picker and Art Card. Color Pencil Picker app is one I use to help me see colors I might not see and to choose which colors I want to mix to achieve a certain color. In this app, you can select your own reference photo from your album, pick a portion in the photo, and the app will automatically suggest which colors to use and the ratio to mix. The pencils it covers are Luminance, Pablo, Supercolor, Prismacolor, Faber-Castell Classic, Polychromos, and Derwent Artist. Here you can see they've picked Prismacolor 150 set. In the black box, it shows you that they used beige, blush pink, and deco yellow to achieve the skin tone in the targeted area. It gives you the color of the target area in the upper right and the mix ratio below. Here it indicates one layer of beige, two layers of blush pink, and one layer of deco yellow. For a beginning color pencil artist, this can take some mystery out of the magic what color should I use thought. You'll quickly find you'll learn much faster by just experimenting with colors. It's not a paint by number after all. As an experienced artist, this app can be used to confirm your color choices or give you a jumping off point. The next app I use is called Art Card. It's a photo effects app. Again, just load your reference photo into the app and choose an effect. Why would you want to use an effect app? As a colored pencil artist, I'm usually very tight in my art. This app allows me to loosen up because I can't see any of the details. My favorite effect is called oil painting. It gives me that loose, realistic, abstract feel I'm looking for. This is an example of my art card manipulated reference in the colored pencil picker app and my color choices for the targeted area. I primarily use Prismacolor pencils and I'm familiar with their color names, but in this piece I'm using Caran d'Ache Neo Color 1 Wax Pastels. Logically, you would think you'd use the Caran d'Ache setting in the Color Pencil Picker app, but I chose to use the Prismacolor setting. I could easily use the colors that they were telling me in the app and translate them to an approximate color in the Neo Color ones. I was asked to do a large contemporary piece for a gallery, so I chose to use my Icarus board to make quicker work of it. To learn more about the Icarus board, you can go to my channel and view Icarus board drawing, red ornament, and tips on using an Icarus board, orange ornament. This is done on a 19.5 by 27.5 art spectrum pastel paper. I believe the color was ivory. In hindsight, this was way too large for my small Icarus board. The hot spot on the Icarus board is small, so when it came to melting the wax, I continually had to shift my paper to the hot location and assure I didn't ding the paper up on any surrounding items that I had attached to my drafting table. I would suggest you try several different color picking and photo effects apps to find your favorite one. Right now, these are my go-to apps, but I've used others as well. Let me know what art technology you'd like to see me try.